Welcome to Ask McDonald Observatory. I'm Judy Meyer. I live and work here at McDonald Observatory out in a remote part of West Texas. McDonald Observatory is a research location of the University of Texas at Austin. So one of the things that happens out here is astronomical research. I work at the Frank Bash Visitor Center, which means I'm less involved with the research and more involved with people like you who visit us. One of the things that's great about our remote location is that we have a really dark nighttime sky. And that's mainly because there's not a large population around here shining their outdoor lights up into the sky. Having a dark sky makes it so much easier for everyone to see dim distant things in the sky. Things like stars, galaxies, star clusters, nebulae, things like that. Sometimes People notice and ask us about our red outdoor lighting. If you visit us for a star party, you'll notice right away that all of the lights in our telescope park are red. So why use red lights? People ask us that, so I'm here to answer. After we've been sitting in the dark outside for a while, our eyes become accustomed to the dark. We call that dark adapted. And for most people, it takes 20 minutes, some people longer, some people shorter, for your eyes to become dark adapted. If you then expose your eyes to bright light, that dark adaptation goes away in seconds. Red light does not make your dark adaptation go away. We use red lights to help you find your way around without wrecking your dark adaptation. We want you to be able to enjoy our dark nighttime sky. We love answering your questions about astronomy and about McDonald Observatory. Ask us your questions at the link that's included with this video or find us at our website, mcdonaldobservatory.org, and we are all over social media. You want more details? Stay tuned. If you already have your answer, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you later with more questions and answers. Okay, now for the science nerds. Hi, I'm Dr. Judy Meyer. I'm here to talk about the chemistry of vision because I think the chemistry is cool. The dark adaptation happens partly because of chemical changes in the cells in our eyes. So let's talk about that. First of all, we know that there are two main types of light sensitive cells in the human retina. There's rods and cones. Cones are responsible for your color vision, but they require a lot of light to work. In situations where the light level is low, most of the work is done by the rods. Obviously, at a star party, some color vision is happening because you can see that the light is red. That, that's your cones working. When the light level is low, though, like when you're looking through a telescope, most of your vision is done by the rods. Inside the rod cells in the retina, there's a chemical called rhodopsin. Rhodopsin is a combination of a giant protein molecule called opsin, and that giant molecule is shaped kind of like a long string of spaghetti or maybe ramen noodles or in this case curly yarn. Bonded to the opsin, there's a smaller molecule that's officially called 11-cis retinal. 11-cis retinal is a derivative of vitamin A. This is why you need to keep eating your vegetables. Cis retinal is not a huge molecule, it's kind of long and skinny. Think of its shape like a bent finger. The retinal is bound to the opsin, so we can say that the finger is attached to the spaghetti. When light strikes a rhodopsin molecule, it's absorbed by the 11 cis retinal, which changes its shape from the shape of a bent finger to the shape of a straight finger. One molecular bond in the retinal changes its configuration, and now we call that 11 trans retinal. So there's the trans retinal. Picture this. Stick your bent finger into a little mound of spaghetti, and everything is fine and happy. If you were to straighten out your finger, the spaghetti would move around. And moving that opsin molecule, moving that spaghetti, sends a signal to the optic nerve and your brain detects light. That process happens really fast. The other part of the process that happens really fast is that the 11 trans retinal, the straight finger, becomes unattached from the opsin. Eventually, that it trans retinal converts back to its cis form and it bonds back up to the opsin. But that process requires time and the action of enzymes. So that's a slow process. The rhodopsin in your eyes is not very sensitive to red wavelengths of light, so that chemical change doesn't happen as easily with red light as with other colors of light. 
We illuminate our telescope park at night with red colored light to keep your eyes dark adapted so that you can find your way around but still enjoy the nighttime sky. However, if you happen to expose your eyes to bright light source, like maybe the bright moon or you go inside or something, you can say that that bleached your rhodopsin. What that means is many of the um, 11 cis retinal molecules were straightened out to the transform and you're going to need to uh, wait a while for that retinal to change back to its bent form for you to have your dark adaptation back. Thanks so much for visiting. Please visit our website, mcdonaldobservatory.org, and find us on social media. And if you have more questions, follow the link to uh, submit them. Thanks. Good night.